So we're going to calculate the uh, force in the slings in this situation where we have a steel beam being supported by a crane hook. So let's start out and look at the weight of our beam. So let's assume a beam here. We know how, how heavy it is. And let's say it's 4,000 pounds. We're going to add an additional uh, weight of the slings add about let's say 50 pounds so we'd know how much our slings are so first thing we a goal here is to find out how much force in the sling okay so just looking at it you can tell that if it's symmetrical each sling will take about half of the load the problem is is when they're at uh, an angle like this and we're going to measure our angle alpha from the horizontal, those forces get magnified. And if you can picture this, the wider the, the angle is, um, meaning if I make it more like this, let the, the, more, the force will be smaller. And as I make the angle smaller, they spread out, the force will get larger. So if we look at the overall weight, it, hopefully it's obvious that the, the force in the cable will be equal to the weight of the beam plus the weight of the slings. Okay, so that's 4,050 pounds. Okay, now our goal is to find the force in the sling. So let's do a free body diagram at the hook. Yeah, let me draw this a little bit bigger here. We got the cable coming down, we've got our hook like that and then we have our two slings wrapped around the hook coming out like that so they all come together at one point and our question is how much force in the left cable and how much force in the right cable and we know that the force in the upper cable is 4050 pounds so we're going to need to know the angle. So we measure this angle here. Let's say this angle is 50 degrees. And if it's symmetrical, it'll be the same on both sides. Rigging is typically done symmetrically um, if it's a uniform load. Uh, sometimes if the weight, say this end of the beam had more weight on it, that might hang a little bit differently. But for this simple case, we'll do uh, equal angles of 50 degrees. Okay. So now we're going to apply our equations of equilibrium. So let's start off um, with the sum, summing the forces in the x direction, and they all have to sum equal to zero. Okay. Well, I don't have them all broken down, so let next step here is we want to break these forces into their components. So this FR would be a horizontal component there, FR. In the horizontal and FV, I'm sorry, FR in the vertical. And when we add the two of those together, tip to tail, we'll get FR. Okay, so FRH will equal FR times the cosine of 50 degrees, and FRV is FR sine of 50 degrees. Similarly, FL can be broken into two components, FLH and FLV, right? And FLH will be FL cosine of 50 degrees, and FLV is FL sine of 50 degrees. Now we can do our summing of the horizontal forces. So the I have a negative FLH and a positive FRH. We'll substitute them in. We get FL cosine of 50. That's negative because it's going to the left. Plus FR cosine of 50 and that sums to zero 
So FL cosine of 50 equals FR cosine of 50, or FL equals FR. So when I divide both sides by cosine of 50, which is what we expected. The forces in the two sides will be equal if the angles are equal. Next thing we're going to do is sum our forces in the y direction, up being positive, and they all have to equal 0. So let's see what we've got. Let's start at the top. We have a plus 4050 pounds, and we get a minus FRB and minus FLV. Okay. Let's substitute in, and we get uh, 0 equals 4050 minus F are cosine of 50 degrees minus FL. Oops, that should be sine because we're looking at the vertical. So FR sine of 50 and FL sine of 50 degrees. Okay. So solving for that, we can get um, bringing these FR sine 50 plus FL sine of 50 have to eat, balance out the 4050 pounds. Um, so now we get FR plus FL sine of 50 degrees equals 4050 pounds. But since we know that FR and FL are the same, I can substitute one in for the other. So let's substitute FL in for FR. And I get FR plus, I guess it'll be FL plus FL sine of 50 degrees equals 4050 pounds. So that's 2FL sine of 50 degrees equals 4050 pounds. Therefore, FL is equal to 4050 pounds divided by 2 sine of 50 degrees. Okay. Now I can put that in my calculator. And I get 2643.5 pounds. So the left sling is 2643, and the right string will be the same. So FL equals... FR equals 2643.5 pounds. Okay. Now, if I just split the two in halves, the 4050 in half, I would get 2,025 pounds, half of the 4050. So that shows that as the angle gets wider, the forces in the slings get larger. The general solution here. Assuming that the uh, the angles are the same in the sling, um, would be the force in the sling is equal to the total load. Okay, so that would be our total load there, divided by two times the sine of the angle, and that angle we know it has to be measured from the horizontal. So we're measuring that angle up here from the horizontal. If the angle was given measured from the vertical, this would be 90 minus alpha. And there is our solution. Note that as alpha goes to zero, 
sine of zero goes to zero and it's a total load over zero and we get an infinite number. As alpha goes to 90, sine of 90 is one, the total load becomes, the force in the sling is the total load divided by two. And there we have it.